So one Akim, all right, was a high spirit win Judah of the GMS Kabasha War Three Mississippi Camp, all right. Giving all honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by some Yahweh side by some Rakakodash. Also giving double honor to the apostles of great millstone Ruel, and saying peace and blessings to the house of David the elect. And so that I want to go into a continuation of the, uh, one one of the last lessons that I've done, which was basically on discipline, because one of the the key elements or uh, characteristics that's missing in a lot of brothers' lives is discipline. And the reason why I mean it's still in my spirit, and uh, I feel that I should, I should still push that because. You know, when we were born in Babylon, all right, most of us were, were raised by single mothers, all right? And, you know, you have certain movies like The Roots, where they, they'll turn a certain age, then they have a rites, a rites of passage, all right? So they have to learn these different elements of manhood, you know, um, certain culture, certain traditions, where the boy will turn a certain age and he has to go through certain obstacles to prove he's a man, but in Babylon, you don't really have that, okay, in Babylon, you don't have that, you know, you turn 18, and that's it, you go to college, or you start working, or whatever, okay, so, now that we we come back to our heritage as Israelites, we have to embrace fully the clothing of being an Israelite, you know, it's easy to subscribe to being an Israelite, and not eating pork, not eating catfish, you have IUIC who wears the fringes, all right, but bro brothers never elevate above the basics, like I mentioned in a, a prior um, lesson. Okay, so I'm going to read First Timothy three and two again. All right, I'm going to bring it back out. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, after teach. Verse three, not given to to wine. No striker, not greedy of filthy lucre, but patient, not a brawler, but covetous. In, in, in other words, a discipline, I mean, a bishop has to be balanced. Now, brothers may be thinking, well, I'm not a bishop. Bishop simply means an overseer, okay? Bishop simply means an overseer. So, brothers who are heads of camps, you're likened to a bishop. Brothers who are not heads of camps, you're still an overseer to the nation of Israel. You're still, an over, you're still an example of how you're supposed to conduct yourself as an Israelite, all right? We're showing heathens. We're showing two-thirds, I mean, how, how, how um, men of the Lord are to conduct ourselves, man, okay? So in a nutshell, a bishop has to have balance. In the order to have balance, you have to have self-control. What's another word for self-control? It's discipline. One of the key elements of this truth is self-control, is discipline, okay? You have to discipline your urges. You have to put your, 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 your flesh under subjection, all right? Contrary to Babylonian um, belief that you obey your urges, okay? That's what the slut walk is for. Amber Rose, I believe it's Amber Rose that came out with the slut walk, is basically telling uh, women to obey your sexual urges and not be judged for it. Okay, that's that's Satanism. All right, that's anti Hamashiach. That's anti Yahweh Shah. That's not scriptural. Okay, and I guarantee you that she more than likely subscribes to a belief that there is a God. Okay, I have to ask myself what God is she referring to if she does so. You see, okay, so I'm going to go back to um, first Timothy. Three and two again. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality after teach. All right? Not given to wine, not striker, not greedy of filthy lucre, but patient, not a brawler, not covetous. Okay? So in a nutshell, you have to have self-control in every facet of your life. So brothers who are in a leadership position... Whether you're, the, whether you're the first in the command, second, third, fourth in command, this really applies to you because you have to be example to the younger brothers how to be. And ultimately, you have to be mature, man. All right? You have to be mature, all right? They say that uh, men age like wine, all right? 
And, and that's supposed to have truth to it, man. So in this truth, you are supposed to age like wine. Wine is supposed to be aged. Another word for aged is mature. So you're not supposed to be the same person um, who you were when you came into this truth, man. You're supposed to evolve. You're supposed to evolve through your experiences, evolve through your circumstances, and, and, and filter them through the scriptures and grow from them, okay? So from now I'm going to get, since we're on self-control and being balanced, I'm going to get 1 Corinthians 9 and 25. And every man that strives for the mastery is temperate in all things. Every man that's striving for the mastery. What is the mastery? Ultimately, it's the kingdom. Okay? It's the kingdom. Okay? And it says it's tempered in all things. So, um, 1 Timothy is the second chapter. I believe that's where I just left. That's an example of the all things that you're to be tempered in. All right? <laughs> that's an example of one of the all things. 1 Timothy 3 and 2. So, you're supposed to be temperate. And, and, and wine, all right. Temperate with women, all right. Stop, stop attempting to conquer every pretty face you see, all right. That's a very um imbalanced spirit, man. We're in Babylon, so every woman is going to sexually entice you. Every woman has a face covered, so you're going to be sexually enticed. All right, a married woman was covered for a reason. Women in our homeland, Jerusalem. Covered their bodies for a reason. So they want to sexually entice men who weren't their husbands. Okay? In this country, it's, it's free course. It's, it's free course. There are, no, there are no rules, no boundaries under the guise of freedom. Under the guise of the feminist movement. Okay? So the, the byproduct of being in Babylon is that you're going to be sexually enticed by a lot of women. But your office as a man of the Lord, where you whether you are in a position of leadership or not, it's to not act off of their enticement, all right? To not act off of your urges. That's one of the, the, the main elements of this truth is to not be subject to your urges. Now, you are in the flesh. You're going to see a woman. You might talk to her, but you're not supposed to be the guy that's, that's hollering at every woman he sees, man, because we have to show, we, we have to be an example of what it means to be a noble people, what it means to be royal, all right? Someone who's noble and of a noble lineage has a reserved conduct about themselves. Now, some brothers might be ex extroverted. Some brothers are more out, you know, they have a wild personality. Some brothers are naturally collective, but there's a balance to both sides, you see? All right? So, in a nutshell, it says, you know, a, the, a man of the Lord, because basically that's what a bishop is, he's an overseer, has to be disciplined. All right, 1 Corinthians 9 and 25 again. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now, they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we are incorruptible. So if you look at uh, sports, competitive sports such as boxing, all right, they put those fighters on certain regiments, eating regiments, all right. Um, I, they're not supposed to drink. A lot of boxers are not supposed to drink during your training. All right, you're supposed to eat certain foods certain time of the day. Are right, you... Probably we're not supposed to eat a lot of fried foods. I'm quite sure brothers who, who are actually into that world know more about it. But I do know that you have to be, um, you have to have self-control, man. And one thing you can't do when you're fighting a lot or you, you compete against competitive sports is have a lot of sex, man. All right, that's very important because sex takes a lot of energy from you. So if you have a fight the next day, it's not good to have a lot of sex. Now, that's not to say brothers shouldn't have sex. But the point that I was making is, that's, that's not our, we're not supposed to be the guys that's just going off our sexual urges. We're not supposed to be the, uh, the, the brothers that, guys that brothers have to um, come pick up because they can't drive themselves home every other week or every week, all right? You're not supposed to be the guy that you got health problems, you got weight problems, all right? Have self-control, man. Stop looking for a shortcut or a cheat code. To, to bettering yourself, man. All right? And I don't mean to just rant, but a lot of the problems that we face in this truth, all right, goes back to self-control. A lot of problems you have because you act off your feelings of, I don't feel like doing something. 
this is uncomfortable. All right? But, you know, I'm not going to prolong it. It was just a continuation. Just a further going to depth of, in a nutshell, 1 Timothy's the third chapter where it talks about a bishop ultimately means to be mature. All right? And like wine, we are supposed to mature. We're supposed to age, man. All right? And when you when you mature and you age, just like cheese and wine, it becomes more valuable. Okay, it becomes more valuable and it's more prized, it's more precious. And that's one of the like if you look at topics about women, a lot of women find men over forty more attractive. I know it's kind of off topic, but you know a lot of women, especially so called black men, they find so called black men over forty more attractive because you you've evolved as a man. A woman's attraction is her physical appearance, but our attraction is really, you know, um, our wisdom that we possess, all right, and our stability and all the other stuff. But like I said, you know, I hope your brothers are edified. Once again, we want to give all—I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakakodash. Our double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone Ruel. Peace and blessings to the house of David the elect. To the next lesson, Shalom.